नाजीन असल लाइव फ़ोन इन इंटरेक्टिव प्रोग्राम टेल क्लास रूम के आज के शुमारे में आप सभी का पूरे टेल क्लास रूम टीम की तरफ से इस्तबाल है खैर मजम है नाजीन ये प्रोग्राम दूरदर्शन केंद्र श्रीनगर और डायरेक्टोरेट ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन के बाहर में इश्तराक से आपके लिए हर इतवार पेश होता है नाजीन ये प्रोग्राम हम लाइव स्ट्रीम भी करते हैं यूट्यूब हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल पर मैं आपको बताता चलूँ तकरीब सौ से जायद लेक्चर्स ऐसे लेक्चर्स चाहे इंग्लिश हो चाहे साइंस हो चाहे मैथमेटिक्स हो चाहे सोशल साइंस हो एजुकेशन हो या एवियरनेस प्रोग्राम्स हो ये सब एक जखीरा बन चुका एक लाइब्रेरी की तरह अवेलेबल है हमारी यूट्यूब चैनल पे जो उस पर आप अपनी अरा से हमें नवाजते रहे हैं हम उम्मीद करते हैं कि आइंदा भी अपनी अराहों से हमें वैसे ही नवाजेंगे इसी उम्मीद के साथ आज के इस शुमारी की शुरुआत करते हैं आज के इस शुमारे में मेज़बानी के फ़राइज़ अंजाम दूंगा मैं न्याज बट और मेरे साथ रहेंगी हमेर शब थैंक्स अलॉट बाई जान विद फ्रेंड्स यू नो एज अ स्टूडेंट इट इज़ एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन टू ड्रीम एंड प्लान अबाउट योर फ्यूचर ड्यूरिंग द हाई स्कूल एंड एज सुन एज यू रीच टू द कॉलेज एज यू शुड एक्ट एंड यू सी लाइफ इज हैपनिंग राइट नाउ एंड वी कैन जस्ट स्टार्ट यू नो टू डू समथिंग इनक्रेडिबल एंड गाइज जस्ट स्टॉप वेस्टिंग योर टाइम इन थिंकिंग एंड ड्रीमिंग अबाउट वट विल हैपन टू मोरो एंड स्टार्ट वर्किंग फॉर इट and just remember one thing if you want to get it you have to get it just right now and there's no other option and it won't come to you on its own bilkul jaisa ki humaira ne kaha ye bahut zaruri hai ki apna waqt ab raiga na kare apna ab waqt ab zaya na kare bilkhus us aisa hota hai ki jo hamare students hai aajkal ke is zamane mein aajkal ke daur mein internet aur baaki social networking sites pe apna bahut sara waqt gair zaruri cheezon mein zaya karte hai bahut waqt waqt zaya karte hai us wajah se ye hota hai ki jo students hote hai wo focused nahi rehte hai determined nahi rehte hai to commitment unki bahut kam hoti ja rahi hai aur aisa bhi hota hai बाज़ वक्त के जो उनका फोकस होता है वो हट जाता है गैर ज़रूरी चीज़ों की वजह से और ज़रूरी है कि आप जो अपना जो तलीमी निज़ाम है जो जैसा बन चुका है जैसा सोसाइटी में है उसके मुताबिक चलें अपना करिकुलम जो है वो फॉलो करें और मैं गुजारिश करूँगा आप सब के आप सब से कि हमारा जो प्रोग्राम है टेली क्लास रूम इसको भी आप देखते रहें इन शर इन शाला इससे आपको इस्ता ज़रूर और ज़रूर होगा और जो भी कोई राय होगी आपकी कोई अरा होगा या सजेशन होगी तो वो हमें आप हमारे फ़ोन नंबर जो है जीरो नाइन फोर टू फोर एट वन एट वन थ्री या जीरो वन नाइन फोर टू फोर एट वन एट थ्री टू उस पर लाइव हमें बता सकते हैं या हमारा जो ईमेल आईडी डी डी के टेल क्लास रूम एट द रेट ऑफ जी मेल डॉट कॉम उस पर भी बता सकते हैं उसके वर्क जो भी आज के प्रोग्राम के मुतल सवाल हो हमें ई मेल या हमें फ़ोन पे बताइएगा इन शाह फ्रेंड्स आई फील रियली वेरी ब्लेस दैट आई गॉट दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एसोसिएट माई सेल्फ विद दिस शो वे आई कैन इंट्रैक्ट विद वेल नोन एंड फेमस टीचर्स ऑफ द वैली सो आई एम सो फॉर्चुनेट नो वेल लेट्स मूव ऑन आई गॉट टेल यू दैट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंडीशनल क्लॉज एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल एज इफ क्लॉज विच इज अ टाइप ऑफ सेंटेंस दैट स्टेट इज द कंडीशन एंड द आउटकम ऑफ द कंडीशन अकरिंग वट एवर यू सेट जो मुझे रिकलेक्ट हो रहा है ना वट आई एम देर आर लॉट ऑफ द थिंग्स वी हैव टू लर्न बट देर आर सम थिंग्स ऑल्सो वी हैव टू अनलर्न मतलब जो हमने कुछ गलत पढ़ा है उसे अनलर्न करना रिलर्न द थिंग्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल बी डन बाई फर्स्टली बाई इन द फर्स्ट सेशन बाई शेख गुलजार अहमद लेक्चर इंग्लिश बॉयज़ हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल बीरवा आपका बहुत बहुत खैर मकदम एंड टू होस्ट यू हेयर एंड कुछ भी जो रह जाएगा इन द सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ वी हैव द एक्सपर्ट ऑफ दिस लैंग्वेज विद अस महराजुद्दीन जरगर एक्स डायरेक्टर अकेडमिक्स जे एंड के बोस एंड आई एम रियली प्लीज एंड डिलाइट टू होस्ट यू हेयर थैंक यू सो मच ऑल्सो वॉन्ट to i'm very very thankful to uh, principal of the uh, government higher secondary school birwa abdur rashid bhat ke unhone personally intervene karke personal effort laga ke is program ko aaj mumkin kiya aur main shukur guzar hu jo escort teacher aaj hamare sath hai hilal ahmed aur ali mohammad sheikh jo academic monitor zone khag ke hai unka bhi main shukur guzar hu ki unhone hame help kiya is program ko aaj yahan tak pahunchane ke liye aur in students uh, jo yeah, government higher secondary school uh, birwa se i also welcome you the thank you so much for coming thank you so much here. for coming today in this program uh, it's uh, time to have a short break we'll be back only after the break <coughs> नमस्कार 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 क्या भैया शौचालय के लिए सेप्टिक टैंक ये जब भर जाएगा तो कचरा कहाँ फेंकोगे फिर से लोटा यात्रा शुरू 
सुनिए दो गड्ढों वाले शौचालय के बारे में सुना है हा? नहीं सुना आइए समझाते हैं देखिए दो गड्ढा बनाइए पहले वाला जब मल से भर जाएगा ना तो ये चालू हो जाएगा और साल भर के अंदर इसके अंदर जो मल है ये खाद बन जाएगा इसे खाली कर दीजिए इसी तरह शौचालय जो है वो अजीवन चलता रहे न बीमारी फैलेगी न बदली और पैसे अरे वो सेप्टिक टाइम से कई गुना सस्ता हाँ क्या समझे शौचालय दो गड्ढो वाला ही बनवाना है और स्वच्छता को सदा अपनाना है वेलकम बैक टू लाइव फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम आफ्टर द ब्रेक इज टाइम टू लर्न इज टाइम टू अन लर्न एंड इट्स टाइम टू रिलर्न फ्रॉम शेख गुलजार अहमद सर काइंडली स्टार्ट टू डेज थैंक यू वेरी मच न्याब थैंक यू सर लॉट फॉर गिविंग मी अनदर वंडरफुल चांस ओवर हेयर टू इंटरेक्ट विद स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बॉयज गवर्नमेंट बॉयज हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल बीडवा सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स असल हाउ आर यू Fine, sir. Okay, are you enjoying just you are here in the studios? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. I think these are rare chances where students like you from countryside come and uh, become part of this very wonderful program at uh, Didi Keshri Nagar. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, students, uh, before we move to the topic of the day, I have some personal things I would like to know from you. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, tell me one thing. If, uh, for example. Mm, that's a personal kind of question I'll telling you. You can one by one give your observations, okay? Whatever you think, whatever comes to your mind, whatever strikes your mind, please come up and feel free, okay? Yes, sir. To talk to me, no hesitations, no problems uh, with your grammar. Whatever you speak, there's no problem, okay? We are always there to learn. That's what uh, beautifully well said by Mr. Niyaz that we are learn and then unlearn to relearn, relearn. right? Relearn. Okay. Uh, for example, if I uh, tell you this, uh, if you were rich, what would you do? One by one. Just raise your hands. This is a personal kind of thing I'm telling you. If you were rich, okay? Yes, sir. What would you do? Okay, let's uh, go to the corner. Yes. Yes. So if I were rich, I would help the Rohingyas. Oh, <laughs> interesting. You would help the Rohingyas. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Please sit down. So, anybody else? Uh, yeah. Yes. Anybody? Uh, yes, if, please. If I were rich, I will give money to SSA teachers. SSA. Oh, you would give money to SSA <laughs> teachers. Excellent. <laughs> okay, please. If you were rich. Yes. If I were rich, I will buy a new sports car. You would buy a new yeah. sports, sports car. That means you have already a sports car. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. So, anybody? Okay. Can you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I would travel uh, all over the world. You if would travel all over the world. Yes, Wonderful, sir. adventurous. Um, yeah. If I were rich, I would uh, I would many I would buy many cakes. You would buy many cakes. Yes. For what? If I were rich, okay, I would I would buy many cakes for the poor. Oh, that's very interesting. You would buy cakes. That's very interesting. Okay. If I were rich, I would give it to my uncle because he's a SSA teacher. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> okay. If I were rich, I would send. I would like to send my parents to perform Hajj. Oh wow, fine, wow, excellent. Cool. You would send your parents to perform Hajj. Anybody else? If I were rich, I would attend my class. Ah, which uh, class? You would? I would attend my class. It's very interesting. Not necessary to be rich. Don't you have fair and all this? <laughs> okay, nice, fine, fine. That's an idea. That's an opinion. Fine. See, uh, friends, uh, the way. This uh, brief interaction was between you and me. Yes, sir. It was, if I were rich, I would do this. If I were rich. So there's a particular kind of uh, uh, structure that all of us were actually following. OK? Yes, sir. Uh, these are actually in grammar. These are called? Conditional, Conditional clauses. clauses. OK? Yes, sir. You're, uh, you're just particularly, you're following a particular pattern. And uh, this pattern, or this way of speaking, the way you are interacting with me is absolutely Conditional clauses, conditional okay? Clauses. And yes, see, conditional clauses are mostly used when you have, when you talk about your dreams, okay? Mm -hmm. yes, when you talk about your lost opportunities, okay? Like when imaginary things. Yes, when you talk, when you think of, uh, when you, Sent when you are in the dream world, you imagine things, yeah. some possible things, yes, and sir. definitely, conditional sentences are also used when we are. 100% sure that things like these will happen, will okay? Happen in future. Yes, yeah, maybe in future as well. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing about conditional clauses is that the structure that we use, that is sometimes past, 
or that is sometimes future. 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 It is past, the, but the meaning is present. present. Right? Yes, sir. It may be present, but the meaning is meaning past. Is past. Okay? Yes, it may be future, but the meaning is present. present. Right? Yes, that is the tricky thing about this. But let me tell you, ki conditional clauses are the most useful things that as students you should learn. And particularly, let me tell you, let me uh, inform you for class 11th and 12th students. Particularly, you are from class, uh, I see most of the students from class 12th and then few from class 11th. Uh, remember one thing that uh, this is tomorrow, inshallah, you are going to your final exams and definitely uh, questions will be asked about conditional clauses. Conditional and that's clause. why I request the students sitting back at home, please come towards the screen of the, of the TV screen at home and watch today's class because this is very important as far as the exams are concerned. At the same time, if you want to perfect your language, if you want to perfect your communication skills, then again, this will help you, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, okay. Uh, I'll do one thing. I'll write a sentence, okay? Yes, sir. On this uh, marker board, whiteboard. Yes, I'll sir. write a sentence. And please, I request you, try to look at that sentence very closely, read it in your heart, and then most probably I will tell you to follow me, give me another example of the same kind, same okay? Yes, sir. I hope that you will come along with me and Thank support you, me in doing that kind. It is a kind of activity. And yes, let me make it clear. Today you will see me as a facilitator. I won't be talking all the time from this very side. Today it is your job, you will speak most probably, uh, may probably, I will uh, perhaps call somebody here, I will invite you on the marker board and perhaps you'll be writing something over here, right? Yes, so get ready for that and I hope that you will just do everything today on this very stage. This is a stage I'm providing for you and mostly, uh, inshallah, in upcoming time you will follow me. Okay, let me write down a sentence over here. If he pushes the button. If he pushes, pushes the, button, the button, okay, the lights, you see a B, for example, here, the lights go off. Okay? Yes, yes Full sir. stop. If he pushes the button, the lights go off. off. So I hope that yes. you understand yes, the way the sentence has sentence. been written. Yes, Can sir. somebody give me an example following the Sam pattern? Yes, sir. But yes, sir. in his, just speak to your mind. Oh, yes, wonderful. Sir. Everybody is there. Okay, back. Uh, yes, next, yes, that white. Right. Yes, please. If poison expires, it becomes less poisonous. Oh, excellent. If? Poison expires. Poison expires. Wonderful. It becomes? Less poisonous. That's very interesting. If any medicine expires, it becomes more dangerous. But if poison expires, it becomes it less becomes poisonous. Less poison. Wow. Okay. Somebody if else, please. Yes. Yes. If you yes, you. You. Sakib. Right to Sakib. Yes. If we look directly to the sun rays, our get, our eyes should be harmed. Our eyes should get harmed. Get damaged. Harm. Okay. 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 Nice. Nice. If we look directly towards sunlight our eyes let me write are damaged okay i think it is enough three sentences yes sir because uh, i i understand that all of you want to say something right yes, <laughs> great night now please concentrated focus on these three sentences, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So tell me one thing, uh, what is special about these sentences? Is the, uh, do you f just understand something, some common thing in yes, these sir. three yes, sentences? Yes, sir. What's that? It's the same again. All of you, yes, yes. all of these sentences yes. begin with? Yes. Yes. Oh, interesting, very good. Yes. Can you see something else there? Yes. 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 All the sentences. Let us go to Huzaf, okay? Yes. Uh, yes, they follow the same pattern, same that's pattern okay. Answer. But uh, can you closely tell me, for example, if you go to sentence one, yes, if he pushes the button, the light is go off. Oh, no, no, uh, yes, what yes, is, uh, let us go to the if clause. Let us yes, go sir. to the yes, first clause. clause of this very sentence. Uh, that was very rightly in the beginning said by Humaira, yes, that these are conditional clause. At the same time, we can call them if clause yes, as well. Okay, now tell me, if he pushes the button, 
what is uh, the next thing after if that you see there? Simple. Yes, simple. Present. absolutely. It is present simple. He pushes the button. Is present simple. simple. Let me write it very shortly. Present simple. simple. Okay. Let us move uh, away from comma and see the another part of the sentence. The lights go off. Also present simple. Sir. Present simple. Excellent. It is again present simple. Right? Yes, sir. Go to second one. And what do you see there? If poison expires, what is it? Simple. Subject plus. Present okay, nice. It becomes less poisonous. What is it? Present simple. Present simple. Come to third one. If we if look we directly towards the sunlight, what do you see? We look. That means again, subject plus present. Simple. If you go to the main clause of the sentence, our eyes are damaged. What is it? Present. Eyes are are damaged. It is yes, passive voice. Okay. Yes, so sir. nice. So that means. Everywhere in all of these three sentences, we have followed a particular pattern. Subject plus present simple in if clause. And subject plus present simple in main clause. Right? So I think we can simply draw a conclusion from here. Such, so, yes, yes, please. so as we all know that this conditional sentence contains the dependent and independent clause. Yes, exactly. Uh, clause, exactly. Right? Uh, and it almost begins with F. So can't we start it with when or will? Of that's, course. That's, of course. that's very, very interesting. Can Huzaf respond to it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes when shows 100% uh, uh, condition. Okay. So it, uh, it is 100% true in uh, zero conditional, then uh, then we use uh, when. Now in a state of question if. question arises, what is zero conditional? Okay, sentence, nice, nice. nice. We'll, we'll okay, actually, sir. I was coming to that. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, suppose uh, when we heat, when we heat magnet, it loses its magnetism. That's true. Okay, okay. I will, I will, I will uh, assist you in answering, responding to Myra. So the first thing was that, uh, for example, she said, can we replace if, uh, can we use uh, when, in uh, when instead of absolutely? Of course, sir. Can. Why? Because if it is true, he pushes the button, the lights, because this is absolutely, this is uh, a universal kind, it kind. is a yes, scientific sir. kind of fact. Yes, Put, uh, push the button, lights uh, yes, turn off. Lights so turn you off. can simply say when, when he pushes the button, the lights. Uh, go off okay yes, so sir. we can use there's no problem in that let us now see what the rule that actually or the conclusion that we can draw from these very three sentences we see that okay it is actually if then it is plus it is subject plus everywhere you are seeing that we are following v1, v1. okay yes, you can sir. say present simple as well no problem in that subject plus v1 and then it is object. comma, object. then it is again subject object. plus v1. v1. This kind of pattern, these sentences are following this kind of pattern, okay? Yes, yes, this sir. is first thing that we will keep in mind, that this is a pattern that uh, these sentences are following subject, if plus subject, uh, plus v1, v1, s plus v1. Subject. Oh, yes, now we can add Homeros as well. I can use this here, I can put it in extra, if is equal to when in this case. We can use when everywhere, when, when it is well. zero, zero. In, uh, this kind of thing, okay? Yes, okay. Now, Concentrate again on these various sentences and tell me what is the particular thing, what is the particular particular message, what is the crux of these sentences, what are they telling about actually, can somebody tell me? Yes sir. Okay, we have all the hands going up. Humaira. Yes. Sir, these, uh, these are universal truths. Okay, nice. For example, these are, uh, if we look directly, uh, universal truth, yes. Can somebody uh, add, yes, yes last one, last one. Give. Sir, these are scientific facts. These are scientific facts, absolutely. Okay, we can add up scientific facts. Okay. Can somebody add more? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes please, I say he will. Scientific facts, what else? These scientific are rules. These are uh, somewhere. Rules. Game rules. No, scientific that is in scientific general, truths, game sir. rules, but yeah, we have not an example. We can go for game rules also. Any rules of games that you can use there, this kind of structure. General truths, sir. Habits. Yes? General, general habits. General you can talk about habits when you are talking about this kind of pattern. Very nice. Yes. Okay, routines. Right? Habits. So all these things that means this is where you should use this kind of pattern. pattern. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let us conclude that let me tell you, let me make a revelation now. That is what was uh, said accidentally by one of the student that actually this kind of pattern in English is called zero conditional. Zero conditional. Clause. This is called? Zero, zero conditional. Clause. This is zero conditional or yeah. maybe uh, it's not a condition at all because this happens. If this happens, that will that happens mm -hmm. too. Yes. Right? Yes, it is sir. automatic kind of thing. 
agar if we very clearly look at the sentence it is not a condition at all this means that this this happens this happens if uh, poison expires very simple is the fact that's what it was well, such scientific fact that it becomes less poisonous at the same time if you look directly towards the sunlight uh, it, it is a prune fact that your eyes are damaged yes, right yes, sir. so this kind of uh, if you if you use these patterns if you use this kind of structure in your life i hope that you understand now yes sir you should remember this this is the ultimate thing that we should remember that it came actually out of this very discussion that uh, this is the rule that you should always follow if you want to speak about permanent situations that are always true true to scientific facts game any rules of the game and also these uh, things related to engineering technology and all that because the, there are things that they are always true okay yes, nice very nice now ओके now let me go to some other example for example let me write a sentence and please the way you followed in the first zero condition i hope that you will help me here as well for example if i write a sentence if you attend my losses regularly you will yeah improve yeah. you see this is what i am telling you this is the truth because you are in my University. class you are my regular students there at yeah. boys high secondary school b y i'm telling you if you attend my classes regularly yeah. if you attend my classes regularly, regularly. you you you'll, you'll improve, improve your, your english. english you'll improve your, your english, english. I hope that you you might have noticed this. You will improve your English. English. I'll talk about that. Okay. Yes, sir. You will improve your English. Please focus, concentrate on the construction. If you attend my classes regularly, you will improve, improve your, your English. English. Now I want the same kind of pattern from you guys. Yes. Uh, Fifth hand is going up. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Yes, please. Yes. I see back table. Sir, if India wins the World Cup 2019, the country will go crazy. Oh, okay. If uh, India wins the, let me put it short, World Cup, the country uh, will find its island slightly modified. <laughs> the country will find its head among the stars again is the same thing almost uh, i try to use it a fair phrase that means they'll be happy then they'll, they'll turn crazy okay sure. the same thing so somebody else please yes, sir. Sir. oh my god that's that's wonderful yes uh, that's uh, that's to net the lost you okay you 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 please please allow me, allow me. he has not got a chance sir. yes If you work hard, you will pass the exam. I, I have passed, yar. <laughs> you tell about yourself. <laughs> okay. If, what's your name? Nasir. I will write it about you. <laughs> If Nasir <laughs> works hard. <laughs> If Nasir works hard, he'll, he'll pass the exam. the exam. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. I'm sorry because you know, a lot has to be done. <laughs> uh, three sentences. Now please again the same thing let us try to look at the pattern right yes, yes sir, sir. Uh, let me tell you first thing if you go up to comma yes in zero condition i missed one point you can just shift man clause to yes, yes. the first, yes, first. and if clause to the man. last man. okay yes you can shift there is no problem no change in meaning but one important thing yes sir comma comma, comma sir we have to put this comma okay. in between fine yeah. fine fine now come to this so again i don't think there is any change in the man clause 
of this sentence and that of the man uh, sorry if clause of this very pattern or this sentence and zero condition, zero condition yes. Yes. in zero condition we saw that we used subject plus first form of first verb, form of verb. Yes. and here what do you see yes. what is there subject plus come on try to speak i don't i'm not yes, teaching you rocket science <laughs> is it so yes sir okay no. so uh, if plus Present simple. Same was the case with uh, zero yes, condition. Yes, zero condition. Yes, a plus present, present simple. simple. But yes, definitely. Follow. If you move ahead, you will find some change now. What is it? Yes. You will improve your English. English. You will improve your English. English. So what is the change? Will. will. And? Infinitive. Will plus first form of verb, you can say. Will plus infinitive, you can say. Will plus present form of verb. You will find different grammars with different names. Different Don't get scared. Yes. Oh, sir said that it is infinitive, but here it is written present form. Not yes, at sir. all. Will, base form, present form, first form, with different names, the same. Same. Yes, sir. Mm, uh, an example struck my mind, but that I will not use it that here. So anyway, you will improve your English. Okay? Yes, sir. Now, go to second one. If India wins the World Cup, okay? You are using the same kind of thing that was in zero. So again, uh, subject plus uh, V1, then move to the country will find its head among the stars. The country will go crazy. The country will enjoy. You can have so many uh, offshoots or additions to this very part. So again, you see that will plus will infinity or base form. If Nasir works hard, subject plus this works, verb. that is verb first form, subject plus first form verb, heal. Pass, pass the exam. Pass the, exam. the exam. I didn't say the exam. I said the exam. The exam. So please take no note of yes. pronunciation at times. Yes, so he'll pass the, the exam. exam. So everywhere in all these three sentences, we have seen that in if clause, we used the same pattern as it was the if clause of zero condition. That means subject plus V1. V1. But here in main clause. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are changing the pattern. We are using will, will. plus first form of verb. So let us go. So can see. we just change this if uh, to unless? Uh, see, you can't change it everywhere to unless. But when you are talking about some negative, when you are talking about some uh, thing, that is uh, when you are saying no to something. No. Right? Achha, yes, sir. For example, if you, you can't say if you don't come. <laughs> if you don't, don't come. come, I will not come. I will not come. So not come. The first thing should be, if uh, this is incorrect, if you say if you don't come. Say unless, unless you, come, you come, I won't come. I won't come. So unless you come, I won't, I won't come. come. Yes, that's it. So let us see. Uh, what kind of uh, structure we can have from these three sentences, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. It is subject, right? Yes, plus sir. Uh, V1, it is yes, if, uh, if plus subject, subject plus, plus V1. 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 Okay, yes. plus O, you can write O is optional, that's why I have uh, yes, sir, left yes, it. Yes. Sometimes you have adverb, sometimes you have complement, sometimes you have object. Yes, so there are so many things. That's why you will leave it. Sometimes you will find in some grammars, here they will put some like this, okay? Maybe you will get confused why Sari is not putting all these things here. Sometimes you have like this, dots, that means if. You take it as for granted. Okay, if, then you will find plus, okay? Well, yes, you will find well. present simple. <coughs> present? Simple. Simple. Sometimes it is present continuous as well. There is no problem. It can be there. So, present simple or present perfect as well. Yes, sir. Comma, okay? It is again this plus. Uh, will. Will. will plus plus infinite you are v1 okay yes sir this is uh, the structure r uh, for uh, simplifying for you where well, i try to write it like this if plus Perfect. subject plus you can write subject plus v1, v1 plus, plus o you okay. can write all these things and then subject plus uh, will. v uh, sorry will plus v1, v1. plus v1. o so that's it and this is your actually okay uh, we'll come to that now this is your structure this is your structure or this is the rule in other words you can remember that this is the rule that you should follow this is the structure that you should follow while patterning your sentence on this very structure okay yes sir. now again try to focus on these very sentences and find out what is actually the message what is the concept why do we use these sentences? Yes. For what? What is the purpose? Of yes, what is the purpose? Yes, Absolutely. Yes, can you tell me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, what is the purpose? For for example? Possibility. Possibility. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Like the things are in future. You are That's feeling that this thing is possible. Yes, sir. Possibility. Nice. Possibilities. Probability. Okay. Possibility. Probability also. 
possibility. Okay, Prediction. what else? Predictions. Predictions, Predictions. Predictions in future, Probably. right? Yes, sir. Okay, likely fine. Likely. Likely, 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 likely to happen. Likely Probable, right? Yes, yes, sir. And in other words, sometimes it is certain as well. It is? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For example, uh, you have got such examples. We will come to that. So, possibility and prediction. That is uh, the basic thing. Basic. Yes, For sir. All the possibilities in future are in present. Present. Right? Yes, you sir. Use this kind of uh, structure. So, uh, let me uh, tell you that if you follow uh, this, if, if this is your concept and if yes, this sir. is your rule, rule, that means you are actually following first condition. Conditional. This is? Yes, first, first conditional. What's my point? Yes, yes, sir. This is? First, first conditional. First condition. Now, why uh, see now uh, why how is it how is it very clearly different from zero condition zero condition yes, sir. now this is the question if you attend my classes regularly i am putting a condition yes, yes, sir. condition i am telling you that this is actually the uh, thing this is the point you need to do first yes, sir. if you do it if you fulfill this thing yes, sir. then you will get the, you the, will uh, the result English. will be in front of you yes, right yes, sir. Yes, sir. this is actually the condition Conscience. remember that this is the condition Conviction. and this is the outcome, outcome. Yes, this is the exactly. outcome yeah. or you can say this is the result yes, or, yes result. this is the result. result or this is the consequence yes, yes, yes sir you got it point yes, yes, so yes, this sir. is very important so you should understand that this is very normal quite normal that most of the times Oh, most of the times you can use this kind of structure for so many situations when you're out there in the market okay yes sir okay so you got it it is first, first condition. right now let us rush to something more important than i hope that zero condition and first condition is yes, correct sir. okay yes, now clear to you uh, uh, when you talk about when you talk about zero conditional you know that it is quite automatic, it is yes, habit, sir. it is a general, general truth, truth, scientific truth, scientific. but when Real. you come to first condition, it is possible. Possible. It's possibility. possibility. It is yes, possible to have. That means that it, it is a prediction of the future. Certain, but there is an iota of doubt, even there also. Mm. Because yes, it's not absolutely, uh, we have not got that kind of science as yet to predict future 100%. You know? yes, sir. Yes, sir. If it is there, but still there are, uh, that means uh, some margin of uh, confusion and error is there, right? Doubt yes, is sir. there. So that's why we say it is possible, rather probable, right? Yes. So immediately we move to... Second, second condition. Uh, let us move to some other example and see what we can come up with. For example, if you, I will follow the same example that yes, I sir. follow in uh, the first condition. First. If you, but slight modifies. If you attended, if you attended my class regularly, you'd 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 sir improve your your English. English. Okay, can you have some other example, please? Quick. Yes, yes sir. sir. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, if let's I were you, no, no, this, this. If I were you. Uh, one minute, one minute. That, that boy, that boy. Pasha. That boy, please. Pasha. That boy, please. Yes, quick. If I attend your classes, I would, add, I would uh, improve. Uh, I would uh, improve my grammar. Okay, excellent, yes, excellent. Please, uh, that, that boy, that boy, please. Yes. If I were a bird, I would fly. Oh, excellent. And <laughs> yes, you have used an exception at the same time. If I uh, were a bird, I'd fly. Fly. I would fly. fly. OK, can you uh, have some other example, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, that sh uh, little boy with black uh, t-shirt. Yes. Can you come up with an example? If it rained, uh, we will use if it rains, okay. I will not uh, go to play outside. If it I'd rained, I'd, uh, I'd uh, not go out to play. I would not go out to play. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. So, again, three sentences. Again, three sentences. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, uh, closely uh, have a look on these very three sentences again. 
So you have also, you know, prepared this chart. You uh, can show us. Uh, yes, that was actually for evaluation purpose. I was okay. coming to it. <laughs> so right. that is there for evaluation purpose. So uh, it's a magic and I will come to this magic. I know that all of uh, the maybe students at home are also curious to know what is on the chart. We I will come to it very quickly. Okay. To see it, yeah. So, okay, quickly, please. Now look at this. If you attended my classes, you will find that it is subject plus V2. Okay? Yes, yes sir. Uh, then here it is U. U. Plus you wood. 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 Okay? Yes, it is sir. U plus wood plus first form of verb. Here again, it is subject plus V2, subject plus V2, V2. Uh, in the if condition and in the man, uh, main, man clause, you have wood plus infinite. Wood plus. Yes, with sir. plus, yes, sir. right, yes, everywhere. Yes, sir. So let us try to understand, draw the rule. The rule is subject plus subject V2, plus V2 okay? Plus. In the yes, if clause, A plus subject, okay? Yes, Comma, V2. it is uh, subject plus wood. wood. Yes, plus uh, infinity or v1 okay yes sir yes, sir. this is for second condition that is the rule and if you very closely look at this what do you find it is something that you are dreaming, dreaming. Yes, sir. it is something dreaming. that is uh, uh, that's impossible yes. for example if you still if you attended my uh, class Long regularly regular, regular. it is a present thing yes, meaning sir. is present yes, this simply means if you attended my class regularly means you didn't attend yes, yes, attend kiani and what is the result you would improve your English means you have not improved. You that is the meaning. That is the, the meaning yes, you take. For example, if I were a bird, again, absolutely a dream. If I were a bird, you are not a bird, and that's why you cannot fly. Yes, but sir. very interesting thing, remember that in conditional clauses, with yes, I, with he, with, he. with she, yes, with it, yes, we can use word. word. But uh, normally, we never we use. Never use there is, there's a question of concord. There's a subject-verb agreement. But here, yes, it is actually verb in subjunctive mood. It is in subjunctive mm -hmm. because this if or the use of word after subject, yes, it sir. distances the man meaning to some evangelization, to yes, some sir. the world of uh, uh, that uh, imagination or impossibility. That's yes, why sir. we can use it. So it is correct. There's no problem. Yes, okay. So that means impossible. We are talking about impossible things. You got my point? Yes, sir. Okay, impossible, improbable, unreal things you are talking about. Got my point? Yes, sir. So that is this. I'll click quickly uh, move to the uh, last part of the uh, today's lecture, and then I'll try to move to this area. So anyway, for example, if I go to the same uh, uh, example again, yes, sir. if you You'd, if you'd attended my, I will just write one example, classes, yes. you'd have improved your, your English. English, the same sentence. I hope that you understand. If you'd attended my classes mm -hmm. regularly, you'd have improved your English. English. Yes. Now, uh, let me tell you, because uh, paucity of time. Yes. Subject, if plus you, you'd. it is you'd. you'd. Yes, you'd. If, yes, if, if, let me tell you, if I had time, I would definitely talk about yes, short formals, contractions, and their pronunciation. Yes, sir, sir. But you know, it is right knife on your throat when you're here in this DDK kind of class. The time runs so quickly that you yes, hardly find any time. So anyway, <laughs> it is, uh, let me put it like this. It is, if plus subject, plus head, plus V3, okay, are past perfect. It is one minute. Past perfect. It is past perfect, perfect. perfect. okay? Yes, sir. Then comma, it is uh, subject, plus wood, yes, plus have, plus V3, okay? Yes, sir. That is actually your construction <coughs> or structure. And remember, most of the students are committing a mistake. They are writing subject plus wood plus past perfect. That's wrong. It's not yes, possible. Yes, it's yes, wood, plus, wood, plus uh, wood plus have plus V3. Have plus because yes, if it had been yes. that, then it should have been have or has <coughs> should be used here. Yes, but sir. after wood, we never use has. Okay? Yes, so All this right. is the structure. And this, remember that we use this third conditional for regrets. Yes, sir. You Mrs. use Johnson. it for Mrs. 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 Johnson. Mrs. Johnson. Yes, opportunities. Oppo opportunities. Opportunities. You use it for lost chances yes, in life. Yes, yes. This is completely past regret. Past. It is absolutely a past condition. Yes, we talk about results. these are the situations which are past. Okay. Yes, yes, sir. So let us quickly come to this. I have just come up with the same thing. That is actually the summary of what we have done yes, so sir. far. For example, 
Remember, in zero conditionals, it is certainty. In first conditional, it is real possibility. In second conditional, it is unreal possibility. In third conditional, it is impossible. Okay? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, nice. So quickly, I will go through, I will try, I will try to go through the exceptions. There are few exceptions. Let us go to them. For example, never use will in if condition. Yes, yes sir. Never use if. Okay, uh, let me tell you one thing. Go, 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 go back and uh, see, uh, check the uh, books and uh, see the exceptions. I hope that you will yes, do sir. that, and yes, uh, that will add to your knowledge. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. 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 नमस्कार नमस्कार क्या भैया सेप्टिक टैंक शौचालय के लिए सेप्टिक टैंक ये जब भर जाएगा तो कचरा कहाँ फेंकोगे फिर से लौटा यात्रा शुरू सुनिए दो गड्ढों वाले शौचालय के बारे में सुना है हाँ नहीं सुना आइए समझाते हैं देखिए दो गड्ढा बनाइए पहले वाला जब मल से भर जाएगा ना तो ये चालू हो जाएगा और साल भर के अंदर इसके अंदर जो मल है ये खाद बन जाएगा इसे खाली कर दीजिए इसी तरह शौचालय जो है वो अजीवन चलता रहे न बीमारी फैलेगी न बद और पैसे अरे वो सेप्टिक टैंक से कई गुना सस्ता हाँ क्या समझे शौचालय दो गड्ढों वाला ही बनवाना है और स्वच्छता को सदा अपनाना है uh, welcome back to live phone interactive program. Live interactive uh, session has been started. It's time to respond to the various questions. And sir, first I would like to say, sir, I have made a conditional uh, clause. If Gulzar sir and Zargar sir will keep coming in the show, I will learn English. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It might be the second, first conditional. First, first condition. But for me, I will uh, tell it's a zero conditional for me <laughs> oh, because great. it is definite. Results are the definite. <laughs> Thank you. We had the first sir. call away. That's from uh, Anand Nag. Kasal Nazir, our sir, Jure. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Ji, Kasal Saab, khair magdam hai. Aapka aaj ke program mein. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Waalaikum assalam. Uh, sir, I have a question. How we learn English language without sitting down and grammar? Uh, sorry, uh, do you yeah, want yeah, to question? Thank you, sir. Thank so, you for uh, calling. Uh, he's talking about learning of English language without mm -hmm. grammar. Okay. So, my dear friend, uh, in the beginning, don't be boggled down and don't bother about grammar. Okay. The first thing is that you start and start speaking English, and mm -hmm. I'm sure with the passage of time, you will learn the niceties of grammar. They will come. And uh, it is rightly said that it's not taught. It's, it's caught. simply caught. caught. So yeah, the best thing for you I can suggest is speak and speak and speak. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that uh, with the passage of time, you will definitely catch the Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Atika Yaseen Dapura brain se likhti. I don't think the learning grammar, same cheese likhti. With focusing much on the practice yields anything. Only learning rules cannot make the English otherwise. Uh, it, it's gone to boredom you unless and until we practice and use in our common tongue. Yeah, that's true, but the fact is that, well, you cannot wink at the fundamental rules. It's rules also. So, if I say, for example, I is playing, it will be very nauseating. Mm -hmm. So, the fundamentals of the grammar, you cannot skip and you cannot ignore. Mm -hmm. You have to be very familiar mm -hmm. with the grammar, the fundamentals of grammar. Mm -hmm. And coming to today's lecture, let me share my opinion. And I was about Gee. to say, when Gulzarsa was asking the students to give the sentence, a mm. uh, sentence was dancing on my lips, and the sentence <laughs> was, if uh, bag, uh, if if bag, if uh, beggars, if wish were beggars, 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 if uh, wish were horses, 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 the beggars would mm. ride. Mm. And it was the sentence that was coming to my mind. Mm. One th two things ought to be uh, uh, remembered mm. here. The first thing is that if a sentence or if class is in present tense, the second following sentence has to be in the present tense. Okay, it you. cannot be in the past tense. Thanks, For example, take a first call. If, uh, uh, let yeah, me please, complete it. Please, please. If I say, if I go out, I will uh, simply enjoy the scene. See. I will not say if I go out and I would enjoy because mm. don't confuse will as mm -hmm. the future tense there. Will is present there, and if I use would instead, that will be totally wrong. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Abrar Ahmed, our sir, Jure Abim Nasir. Assalamualaikum. 
हाँ वालेकुम असलम खैर मकदम है आपका खैर मकदम है सर सर मुझे एक बात समझ में नहीं आ रही है कि जो ये इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कोर्स के चलते हैं यहाँ इंस्टीट्यूशन वो कहते हैं कि थर्टी फोर्टी डेज में हम करेंगे कोर्स नो डाउट अगर मैट्रिक पास भी कोई बचा होगा वो भी आ सकता है अब ये एक समझ नहीं आता है जो ग्रामर है ये तो मजाक में ही है इसमें वर्ड एम पार्ट है बहुत सारे पार्ट टेंस है टेक्निकल क्लास है पंक्चुएशन है बाकी चीज है ये दो रेस का भी कारण छूट जब होगी तभी इंसान बोल सकता है तो इन मौसम से पूछे दोनों साथ कि ये जाने से क्या है? जी थैंक यू सर थैंक यू साहब से लेंगे कि बहुत सारे दावा करते हैं कि 30 दिन या 40 दिन में आपकी अंग्रेजी जबान पूरी अच्छी करेंगे या कोई भी जबान करेंगे हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल आई फील दैट वेल वन मंथ इज टू लॉन्ग पीरियड आई एम श्योर दैट वेल यू बी विथ मी आई शो यू दैट वेल इट्स पॉसिबल इन सेवन डेज दी थिंग इज दैट यू हैव टू If you allow me to use Amitabh Bachchan's dialogue, you have to walk English, talk English, sleep English, and you have to feel English. Okay. So the only thing is that that you have to start speaking English mm -hmm. without any fear, without any shyness, and I'm sure that people will definitely cast as aspersions on mm -hmm. your spoken English. So don't don't get vulgar, don't feel ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. Speak and speak and uh, make sure that you speak, and then I'm sure that with the passage of time you'll pick it up and then you'll be. a very good speaker if not a native speaker of the language you'll be a very good speaker of english language mohammad isaq hamare sath jude hai assalamu alaikum kulgam se hamare sath mohammad isaq jude hai assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ji 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 mohammad isaq ko arrest kar raha hu jamal khan ji pura kulgam se ji khair magdam hai aapka ji ji aaj ka program bahut hi acha raha hai thank you shukriya जी कंडीशनल क्लास के बारे में मुझे एक क्वेश्चन पूछना था सर जी जी कंडीशनल थर्ड दैट इज इम्पॉसिबल कंडीशन इसके बारे इसके मुतालिक एक एग्जांपल है मेरे सामने प्लीज इफ द पुलिस हैड अराइवड फ्रॉम दिल्ली द थीफ वुड हैव बीन कॉट यूजुअली हम uh, जो रिजल्टिंग uh, क्लास होता है उसमें हम यूज करते हैं वुड हैव प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ड जी जी लेकिन उसमें आ, अगर इस एग्जांपल में देखेंगे तो थर्ड फॉर्म से पहले कॉस्ट से पहले वहां पे बीन यूज हुआ है अब हम कैसे यूज करते हैं किस तरह से यूज करते हैं इसके बारे में सो इट्स अगेन इट्स अगेन हाइपोथेटिकल सेंटेंस व्हेन यू से इफ द पुलिस हैड अराइव्ड इन टाइम दे वुड हैव कॉट Gulzar Sahib said that normally uh, in uh, present sentence, mm -hmm. where the uh, if clause is in pre present sentence, the uh, succeeding cl uh, clause, clause will also be in the present mm -hmm. sentence mm -hmm. or present tense. Uh, when you say that, well, if police had come, as I said, that well, it is an improbable or uh, hypothetical sentence unreal. and uh, unreal, and then you use had with it. If mm -hmm. police had arrived in time. they would have caught the thief and that's why here you use in the uh, if clause you use had so there in the following sentence you will have to use would have there okay, and not will have because will is the present tense there would will be there thank you for the answer hope you got your answer sheikh gulam maidin likhte it is uh, this lecture merits appreciation for gulzar sahab and it is too good for zargar sahab also mm -hmm. how you. important is to use the correct structure uh, in the clauses Uh, does it uh, vary in the meaning if using incorrect? Oh, yeah, of course. Yes, I tell you that it's very, very important to and use. And he said, please give an example. Sometimes. Yeah, uh, it's very important to use the appropriate. I'll say appropriate and correct structure in the sentence. Uh, you see, uh, uh, give me an example of a sentence. Mm. Say, if uh, uh, I, we don't use. uh this uh, do not with if clause or if sentence okay. i'll give you a sentence uh please take some rest the sentence begins mm -hmm. please take some rest mm -hmm. if you do not you will fall ill okay M make sure that this is an incorrect and inappropriate combination mm -hmm. of the sentence mm -hmm. uh, right. because of the fact that when i say take rest if will not take do not with it okay. and for that you have to use else or or else okay. the sentence will be like this please take some rest, rest. or else you will fall ill fall okay. uh, second is the uh, please take some rest mm -hmm. else you will fall ill if i say 
do not you do not uh, uh, fall ill that's incorrect so my point is as you rightly pointed out that mm -hmm. well you have to be very appropriate Wait. in the usage of the tenses Thank you, sir. and hope in the construction of the sentence hope uh, gulam mohin sheikh sahab has got his answer uh, faisal bande birwa se hamare sath jude assalam alaikum ji sir ha assalam alaikum faisal sahab wa alaikum salam sir ji farmaiye जी सर जैसा कि अभी मैम भी कह रही थी मैं प्रोग्राम देख रहा था कि क्या हम इफ को रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं जैसे मेरे पास वर्ड्स है एज लॉन्ग एज एज्यूमिंग दैट ऑन द कंडीशन दैट इसी तरह से अनलेस और इन केस ऑफ बिल्कुल जी थैंक यू ऐसे वर्ड्स से हम रिप्लेस क्या कर सकते हैं और अगर कर सकते हैं तो किन मतलब जहाँ पे किन जगह पे कर सकते हैं okay. और इसके अलावा मेरा एक और क्वेश्चन है जी जैसे कि हम जीरो कंडीशंस में 100 परसेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज होगी कि ये जनरल फैक्ट्स होते हैं साइंटिफिक फैक्ट्स होते हैं तो ऐसा होता है इस तरह से फर्स्ट क्लास में 50 50 परसेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज होती है तो सेकंड और थर्ड क्लास में जैसे कंडीशंस में हम कहते हैं कि ये भी इम्पॉसिबल होता है तो वो भी इम्पॉसिबल होता है तो इनमें क्या डिफरेंस हो सकती है पाप okay. थैंक यू सर so oh, in both the sentences when it's hypothetical then you know that well you have to use if in the beginning and then as i said that well you cannot go for the will part of the it uh, if i say that well the combination of the if and will so please remember and never never in your spoken english should you okay. ever say if i will go to delhi i'll get a gift for you yeah. because of the fact this is so nauseating sentence as uh, uh, it's an established fact that will if will not take will with it mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, uh, as uh, uh, madam as she was uh, interacting in between she said if i go i, I remember the sentences that humara said That's if i take some part. rest uh, uh, she said that take some rest if you do not fall ill so you said you will not fall ill in between so please when you say will not please avoid will not and say do not mm -hmm. and uh, even when when you talk of the when when class uh, if you use it for the purpose of the time okay. then you can use will with it when will you come uh, that's correct but when you say when i will it. come mm -hmm. you will receive me with arms wide open that's it uh, we have so many of the calls oh, please, in please. the line so i oh, request you to keep the answers oh, short so said afroza hamare sath judi hai baagi mehtab se assalam alaikum hello वालेकुम सलाम व रहमतुल्लाह हां वालेकुम सलाम जी फरमाइए जी मैं गुलदार साहब को मुबारकबाद देना चाहती हूं उन्होंने बहुत अच्छे से आपका लेसन दिया वो बहुत इंटेलिजेंट एंड एक्टिव टीचर है गुलदार की बिटॉन जी थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर कोई सवाल हो आज के प्रोग्राम के मुताबिक नहीं बस बस थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू हमें अप्रिशिएट करने के लिए हमें सराहने के लिए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया सर सेम सेंटेंस हमारे पास इस ईमेल में आया दिस इज अ करेक्ट इन करेक्ट सेंटेंस सर सर प्लीज करेक्ट इट फॉर मी दैट इफ आई विल रेस्ट कॉमा आई विल फील बेटर सो एज आई सेड दैट वेल बिकॉज़ वी आर टोटली एंटेगोनिस्टिक इफ एंड विल will never never see eye to eye mm -hmm. please avoid uh, using if and will <coughs> you say if i take rest Jeez. i will What's the second uh, word? I will feel better. Yeah, if I take rest, yeah. I'll feel better. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. And then, uh, please don't use uh, uh, will with if class. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, uh, I, have, I have an observation over here. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to request, Mr. Uh, sir, that uh, there is an exception that we can use uh, will in if class. But uh, in the case, if you're requesting, if you're Jee. requesting, you can use will. For example, mm -hmm. if you will please help me. I uh, will do it. Gee, so gee. that case, in that case, you can use will. So There's no had, problem. We had, we had, we had so many of emails here, sir. On this, sir, Malik Altap writes to us from from email, sir. Assalamu alaikum. What are the prerequisites for teaching the clauses at the elementary level, Malik Altap? Yeah, uh, you know that uh, the precondition uh, or the prerequisite for teaching the class is that well, you give them the mm -hmm. sentences, the smaller mm -hmm. sentences, mm -hmm. and tell them that well, what's the main class or the principal class and uh, the subordinate classes. Mm -hmm. Tell them that well, these are the Gee. main class will have the uh, noun and the verb, and it will have a complete meaning. Mm -hmm. Then you have the ejectual class. You have. I use ejectual class. Please remember, yeah. normally you say <laughs> ejectual class. I uh, we have the ejectual class, we have the adverbial class, we have the noun class. So give the smaller sentences so that you groom the students in these classes. Mm -hmm. So we had same email from myself, Hilal. We uh, shared his email ID. Hai. His uh, name is not exactly written. Uh, same uh, Hilal Ahmed uh, from Khag. He also asked the same question. Pucha tha. Hope you also got the answer from the question. And there are some emails. Uh, we will, I will uh, like to uh, the Nisar Ahmed. 
نثار احمد لکھتے ہیں ہمیں ریکویسٹ اینڈ سجیشن ٹو دی پینل از دیٹ پلیز آرگنائز اے کلاس آن دا ہندی سبجیکٹ ہندی از اے سبجیکٹ دیٹ از ناٹ گیٹنگ مچ ایفرٹس وی ریکویسٹ یو ٹو تھنک اباؤٹ دا ہندی اسٹوڈنٹس ٹیلنگ اس دیٹ پلیز ارینج اے سبجیکٹ آن دا ہندی سبجیکٹ ہوپ ارینج ہوگا تو ہم بھی تھوڑی سی ہندی سیکھ لیں گے شیور محمد اکرم حبق سے ہمارے ساتھ جڑے ہیں السلام علیکم السلام علیکم خیر مقدم ہے آپ کا آج کے پروگرام میں ہیلو اکرم صاحب السلام علیکم غالباً لائن ڈراپ ہوئی ہے توصیف شوقی لکھتے ہیں ہمیں دس دیا میرے کو ایک ریکویسٹ ہے جی مجھے اس سینٹنس کا جی 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 فرمائیے سر میں آپ سے پہلے گزارش کروں گا اکرم صاحب آپ اپنی ٹی وی سیٹ ٹو بی آف ٹیل ہم ٹو بی آف اس کا کیا آئے گا ٹیل ہم نہیں ہم آپ کی آواز نہیں سن پا رہے آپ اپنی ٹی وی سیٹ کا والیوم پہلے بند کیجئے پھر ریپیٹ کیجئے اپنا کوشچن سر اس کا پیسو کیا آئے گا نہیں آپ اپنی ٹی وی سیٹ کا والیوم پہلے بند کیجئے پھر کوشچن ریپیٹ کیجئے ٹو بی آف پلیز اب ریپیٹ کیجئے کوشچن کچھ ٹیل ہم ٹو بی آف کرنا کیا ہے جی جی فرمائیے سر ٹیل ہم ٹو بی آف اس کا پیسو کیا آئے گا گوڈ سر تینکیو سر پلیز تینکیو سر تینکیو تینکیو فار کالنگ یو سر دیٹ ویل اٹس ان فیکٹ دا پیسو وائس ان اٹس سیلف دو دس از ناٹ دا سبجیکٹ آف دا ٹاپک ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک بٹ ایون دین فار دا ریورڈ ویور Mm. I'll tell him that. Well, it's a passive and then be off is the mm. active of it. Tell him to be off is the passive. Okay. Okay. Though so this is not the, uh, today's topic. <laughs> yes, uh, we had, we had an topic. email from Tawseef uh, Shokhi. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Tawseef Shokhi Darwish Baag Patan. I listen to your show every time. I listen to you and see you. There is a lot of respect. Why do we not understand in this way? We don't understand in the school as much as we understand in the classroom. بہت بہت شکریہ پٹنہ سے ایک کالر ہمارے ساتھ جڑے ہیں ویلکم ٹو ٹیلی کلاس روم ہلو ہلو ویلکم ٹو ٹیلی کلاس روم وعلیکم السلام جی میں گزارش کروں گا وعلیکم السلام پہلے آپ ٹی وی سیٹ کا والیوم بند کیجئے پھر ہمارے ساتھ بات کیجئے جی سر مطلب مجھے نا مطلب انگلش بولنے میں سب پرابلم ہو رہی ہے اور اس کے لیے مجھے فلوئنٹ اسپیکنگ بولنے کے لیے کیا کرنا پڑے گا ہمارے ساکشی ورما انجم کچھ لکھتے تھے ہمیں لیکن ہم آپ کا میل اس وقت شامل پروگرام نہیں اس لیے نام شامل کیا میل کرنے کے لیے بہت بہت شکریہ میں آپ دونوں کا سر گلزار صاحب اور آپ کا بہت شکریہ سر گلزاروں کا بہت شکریہ شکریہ رشید بٹ صاحب جو ہمارے اسکول کے پرنسپل تھے جنہوں نے انٹروین کیا اور اس پروگرام کو آج یہاں پاسبل کیا آرگنائز کیا اگر آپ اس پروگرام کا ریپیٹ ٹیل کاسٹ دیکھنا چاہتے ہیں تو آپ تھرسڈے نائن ٹین ایم پہ بھی دیکھ سکتے ہیں جی ویل فرینڈز اٹس ٹائم فار اس ٹو سی گڈ بائی فار ناؤ اینڈ یو کین آلسو کیچ اس آن یو ٹیوب اینڈ ڈونٹ فار گیٹ ٹو سینڈ یور فیڈ بیک اینڈ سجیشنز آن اور ای میل آئی ڈی جی ڈی کے ٹیلی کلاس روم ایٹ دا ریٹ آف جی میل ڈاٹ کام دیٹس آل فار ناؤ گڈ بائی اللہ حافظ ناصر Oh, God.